Hello, hello, Leo, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is June 25th, and we are going to be looking into the focus wheel. What can we find out? What, what are we focusing our time on? We're also going to find out where are you? Like, you know, what do you need to focus more on? <laughs> I just repeated that. Listen, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel lately. I want to thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes, and it helps the channel grow. I am here every day because I feel that when we are going through a hard time, we need a little bit of clarity on a daily basis. So, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. I thought I saw something turned over here. Pretty sure. Oh, God, I think I was wrong. All right. We will start out with these because there's a lot of them. Oh, God. This reading is this reading is going to be long. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take these like this because this is how they fell out and turn these over because this is how they kind of fell out. Ay, Dios mío. Why do you open up the reading, Leo, with lies and deceptions? Something is going to be revealed. A secret that either you or somebody else may have, it is going to be revealed. Somebody is going to discover it. It's going to come to light. It looks like in the recent past, you walked away from someone. Someone walked away from you. You just had it with the damn situation. Eight of Swords. It looks like currently you are in a situation in your life where you are feeling restricted, bounds, and feeling like you can't go anywhere. So you've built yourself a little personal prison and you've handcuffed yourself and you are blindfolded because you just refuse to see. You also have the seven of pentacles. Some of you seem to be working very hard to elevate your situation. This is having potential success. This is watching your 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 this is watching your money grow. It's you, you watching it patiently, but it's watching it grow. You know, it's just you need to be a little more patient because the time is not up for you to receive this. Then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Listen, some of you are really thinking hard about starting something brand new, something that's going to bring you a lot of money. This is something that's going to bring you material potential. It's going to it's going to be very successful. This is where money is going to come in. Just saying. Then you get the world. The world, something is forcing you into a different direction. This is almost like the wheel of fortune. However, this is a little different. This is you learning all of your lessons and going around the entire world. You know? However, for some of you, you will happily be happy that you, that you completed the cycle. You know? I do see this in the near future, that that is something that you're going to decide, that you have completed this cycle. Doesn't mean that you're going to leave the equation, because you know what? The world is being offered to you. The question is, will you take it? Because you haven't taken it yet. You got the nine of swords. This is anxiety. This is losing sleep. This is being a worry ward. This is worrying about everything and everybody. This is you being confused, being exhausted, thinking and thinking. Listen, the, Leo, this is going to kill you. The anxiety is, is overwhelming. The Knight of Swords. Listen, somebody is going to come in very angry. It could be this person that you walked from away in the past. They're going to be very angry when they find out. I think you got this the other day that you have decided to change your direction, that you have decided perhaps that you don't want to be with them anymore. 
They're going to come in stressful as shit. You know, you also have here the Ace of Cups. Your cup is overflowing for the people that you love, for the person that you love. This is a new love. This is also new energy in love. This is feeling, and this is in your hopes. So you know what? This is something that you are definitely hoping for. You know, your cup is overflowing. Why? Because this situation has taken so long. This beginning is not yet coming. You have the king of pentacles. Listen, some of you, either this is you or this is your significant other. You are going to end up super independent and super rich. This is probably like going from rags to riches. I don't know, you know, but I'm going to tell you right now that truth is coming. Something is going to be revealed. The justice, this could have been a karmic relationship, you know, or you are trying to make things even. You're trying to make things even. And guess what? It could be a, a karmic relationship. You, you might be, this could be a separation. This could be a divorce. This could be a legal system. This could be, you know, somebody taking you to court for anything. However, it is also legal affairs. Something that has to do with the court. If not, it is a karmic energy where you are making it even, you know. You're giving somebody a little, little taste of their own fucking medicine. The nine of vessels. Listen, a lot of a lot of you are going to get your wishes granted and you're going to see that that's going to happen. A lot of you are looking. These are bonus cards because I already got the other ones. This is you looking for some balance in your life, perhaps over a situation that left you, you know, like this. Listen, whatever the situation that you are in has you like this, okay? It has you bonded, restricted, worried, anxietic, which is a word that speak life whisper is made up. So, you know, you're just in a, in a twisted up pickle, you know, so you're looking for some balance. You need to find some balance in your life. You like the good things in life. Lord knows you are nurturing yourself. You are nurturing your, the fruits of your labor. You are taking care of yourself. That's for sure. Um, you also have the six of swords. This is again, look, this is two walking away cards. So, you know, in the past, I feel like you, you just left this behind. This was just too much for you. You also have the magician and you have the queen of wands. Listen, you want to be this woman. You are manifesting to be this woman who is loving and caring. She is a woman who is, who nurtures herself, who takes care of herself. You know, what did I say here? Taking care of yourself. Look at this. Taking care of yourself. That's what you do. You're manifesting that. You're manifesting yourself right now. You're manifesting to, for things to be better, you know, for your fruits of labor to finally grow so that you can actually feel something growing. Why is the moon here? There's something that you're going to discover because I don't see anything else here that leads me back to the moon. But let's see. The clarifier. Okay. Okay. Listen, this was somebody that you were probably dealing with, okay? This is a man. This man is going to come in arguing and fighting about some truth. There it is. This is somebody, I believe this is somebody from your past. This is somebody that, you know, that, that was in your past. Why do I say that? Because in the past, it shows that you walked away. So even if this is in the present, it's showing you, it's showing me that you, this situation had lies and deception. And the truth is about to come out about this man. This man is cold. He said ridiculous things to you. He has a sharp mouth. He is not even warm and loving. He's an asshole, to tell you the truth. <laughs> in this reading, he's an asshole, you know? 
Keen is swords. Listen, he takes care of his people, but he is very abrasive and he is not a very loving or happy person. He is a little miserable. That's how I view him. Okay. The emperor. You walked away because you believed that you deserved better. You walked away because you found somebody that was in better, higher standard. You found somebody who follows orders. He is a fatherly figure. He can be a great husband. And this is somebody that you absolutely love. He is the emperor. Who wouldn't love the emperor? You got here the eight of pentacles. You're waiting for some good news and you're manifesting again. Look at this. I hope that you start manifesting your, your own out because you're still stuck in anxiety and all this other stuff. Waiting for a message. You're waiting for a message that's going to change everything. However, you still have the eight of pentacles. So this is money coming in. This could be a little bit of more money coming in for you. And you're manifesting again. You're manifesting something. Let's see why the why is the magician here twice? Why is the magician here twice? Ooh, that's too many. I'm only gonna take these two. All right, you're manifesting a lover's connection. You're manifesting a soulmate. However, for some reason, you have a fucking tower here. Why do you have a tower here, Leo? Why is a tower here for Leo? Oh God. The night of the night of wands. Listen, this is somebody that's going to come in and they're going to make a big fuss. Like I said before, when they find out that you are heading in a different direction. Look, I just want to show you this. This is two nights. This is you dealing with immaturity. This is dealing with a fucking child. You know, this is somebody who is always bringing in something and yet comes in empty-handed. That's how I look at these guys. The knights, they're immature. Listen, this person caused you a lot of bullshit. This person is bringing some beef to you at some point. Don't run into this person because this person is going to fucking speak their mind. You're starting a new beginning. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Again, okay, listen. <laughs> Somebody might bring an offer, bring in an offer to you, the page of cups. They might be very young. They're going to try to bring you, listen, this ex is going to try to bring you in something else, okay? It's only a fish. Close that. Um, and then you got another ace of, of pentacles. So you got two ace of pentacles, and I'm going to wrap up the reading with this after I read your article. But look at this. This is total success. This is abundance. You know, this is you finding something that is going to bring you in a lot of money. This reading got way too long. Please universal. Okay, there we go. Awareness. Pay attention to the sub... Sublis... Subtleties. <laughs> oh God, I don't know how to spell that. I mean, how to say it? Subtleties. Pay attention to the subtleties. That's what it is. Look with, look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. So just be aware of your surroundings. Basically, you know. Listen, like I said, be aware of your surroundings. You might run into this person around the corner and they're going to be pissed the fuck off. Thank you so much for being here and take care. Enjoy your day.